I don't have a problem being the hardest worker in the room. When I'm doubted, I think that's probably when I shine the most, is because I have something to prove and I'm gonna prove it. One challenge that I can't believe women are still facing is the lack of access to resources and capital to build our companies. In 2022, less than 2% of women-founded companies received VC funding. It is indicative to the lack of access and inequality for women entrepreneurs. I think there's people that still underestimate women. They still undermine women. It's all valuable information. It's all fuel. I think whatever you resist persists. So I just try not to resist anything. I embrace it all and hope that it's all helpful in the long run. My co-founder and I, Shivani, we set out to change the face of construction. It never even occurred to us that we couldn't uh, build innovative technology that could bore utility tunnels through all geologies. It didn't even occur to us. Tequila is the number one spirit for women. We are the ones drinking tequila. Yet if you look at every ad, it's a man on a motorcycle and a man smoking a cigarette and a man in a cowboy hat. And you're like, that's not me, but I like that product. So why shouldn't women participate, not only in the creation, but the economics of of producing a tequila. 45% of NFL fans are women, 35% of NBA fans are women, and no one is talking to that audience. So we're really focused on creating inclusive content and creating content and opportunities so that women are empowered to not only know about the sports, but to have skin in the game. We want there to be open doors for people that ordinarily aren't welcomed by the industry or think that the industry you know, doesn't have a place for them. So I think for us, growth is really internal. It's really about how are we growing as human beings in order for the company to grow exponentially as well. Maintaining that confidence to continue building my company really comes down to investing in myself. Setting boundaries to daily rituals of self-care to surrounding yourself with mentors and advisors and other founders who can help generate more abundance. I love how Eva Longoria calls out the gentrification of tequila. A lot of her story and her mission really resonated with me. We're building companies and building brands and building products that are truly rooted in cultural integrity. Jamie is, like me, taking on a very male-dominated industry. She's also trying to change the face of an industry that has been sort of the preserve of men. I think everyone that we were around today just has such great energy and belief in themselves and it's clear that you know women support each other so it's so great to be around strong independent innovative leaders that are all unapologetic in what they do and it's inspiring. <laughs>